Hi everyone, welcome to Vishma Blooms. So in this video, we will be looking at analytical geometry in 4 diamond package was left out. So let's discuss that. First question is 1, 2, 3, 4 equal to x1 minus 2, 2 determinants, right? So we have to find the value of x here. So how to find? First we have to do AD minus BT, BC for both the sides. So AD, 1 into 4, 4, right? Minus AD minus BC, BC means 2, 3 is a 6 equal to here x into 2, 2x minus 1 into 2, 1 into minus 2, minus 2. So it is it will be minus 2, right? So minus into minus is going to be plus. So directly I put plus. Now 4 minus 6 is minus 2 equal to 2x plus 2. Clear? Then what we will do? We will send this to LHS. Plus 2 we will send to LHS. Then minus 2, minus 2 equal to minus 2x. Then minus 2, minus 2, what is the answer? Minus 4 equal to 2x. Then 2 1s are 2 2s are so x value is minus 2 which is option A. Okay, now we will see second question. Now second question, so question is uh, cos alpha plus i sin alpha uh, cos alpha plus i sin alpha then cos beta sorry yeah cos beta plus i sin beta then cos uh, sin beta plus i cos beta then last one is sin alpha plus i cos alpha okay this is the question question is only looking very lengthy how it will be don't think we'll solve it okay so how to do first cross multiply ad minus bc we will see so cos alpha plus i sin alpha into sin alpha plus i cos alpha. This is the first one. Minus AD. This is AD. Okay. Minus BC we have to do right. So it is sin beta. Sorry, sorry. Cos beta. Cos beta plus I sin beta. into B C right this one sin beta plus I cos beta so this is the uh, multiplication that is A D minus B C now we have to simplify this so how first we have to multiply this right these two terms we are supposed to multiply so how to multiply two terms is cos theta into sin theta, i sin theta into i cos theta. Okay, I think you understood. It was not so tough, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do. So, cos alpha sin alpha. Cos alpha sin alpha. Plus, i cos square alpha. So this, this one we are multiplying means cos 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 square. I we don't have anything else. So we have to put I itself. Then plus here this I sin, I sin alpha. So I sin alpha into sin alpha. How to do that? So first here the two sines are there right. So sin, I, sin into sin is sin square. So I is alone. Put it like that. I I i sin square alpha then uh, plus sin square into i i sin square alpha into i cos square alpha so how to do that i into i is 
i is the square i square sin into alpha you will write sin alpha cos alpha okay then minus next this this one even multiply okay how to multiply cos alpha into sin beta first step right put brackets okay cos beta into sin beta then cos beta into i cos beta we have to multiply so how to do that i will be along then cos beta cos beta cos square beta okay then what we are supposed to do plus i sin square beta sin beta so how to do i is alone sin beta sin beta sin square beta is multiplication that's why it is becoming square or else it will be uh, 2 sin alpha like that okay plus sin i sin alpha i sin beta i cos beta so i i means i square sin beta cos beta clear so up to here i think it's clear these two steps are important only then afterwards i'll raise and do so i didn't rub the down step because with that only i'm going to do the upper step that's why okay so how to do first here i'm going to make some grouping okay so cos alpha sin alpha as it is you will put then then plus this one here you can see that i is common right so i you will take common here in this two terms bracket open cos square alpha plus sin square alpha clear after that so until here it is solved huh from that we will continue Min this uh, i square value minus one. So this is already discussed in the previous packages also. So remember it. Mm? So plus into minus one is minus one. So minus one you will put. Then sine alpha cos alpha. Sine alpha cos alpha. Clear up to here I think. Clear. So next minus. Now this whole and first one is done. Second one is left out. So how to do that? We will see now. So same thing. Co minus cos beta right. This one minus is there. So for full term minus will be applicable. So minus here plus. So minus into plus minus. Minus cos beta sin beta. Afterwards here plus into minus is. Minus. Now this is what I write. So here I is common in these two terms. So take I. Then cos square beta plus sine square beta. Afterwards, here what is the value of I square? It is minus one. So actually minus into plus is minus. So minus of minus one means. Here it is going to be plus. So plus sine beta cos beta. Clear, right? Up to here. Now this step I will erase. Now here cos square alpha sine square alpha minus sine square alpha cos square alpha. Both are same, right? Huh? How same? See. Now cos alpha if you take one, sine alpha if you take two, then. One into two is equal to two. Two into one is equal to two. There is any difference? No, right? Both answer is same. So with this, we can cancel these two. Then here minus cos cos beta sine beta here plus sine beta cos beta. Cancel. Okay. Now I'll erase it. Wait. Then what we are supposed to do here? One and here this is I, right? I means We'll keep like that. I. I. Now cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is one. Ha ha. Because we learned for identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. So based on this identity, this answer is one. 
okay then minus i cos square beta plus sin square beta because of this identity this is also one clear so what is the answer here first i into one is i i into one is i i minus i is zero which is option c i think you got the solution if you have not written the previous one just to rewind and see next is third one so how this third one is uh, here we have to find the value of x question is 3 x 5 and 9 minus 1 4 x uh, 3 minus 5 okay so how to solve this one we will see now so if we have to find the values of value of x so here same variable means that x value is one value only okay we will solve it first you will take 3 this is plus minus plus this is not i explained in the basics itself you know if you don't know you have to go and see that video now if you have taken 3 here then this row this column not to be considered so minus 1 4 3 minus 5 okay minus x then so this this row this column not to be considered now 9 4 x minus 5 clear next plus 5 this row this column not to be considered so 9 minus 1 x 3 Fine. Now what we have to do is in this now we will do AD minus BC. Clear? So let's do that. So cross multiplying AD minus BC. So first 3 into minus 1 into minus 5 is plus 5. Minus 4 3s are 12. Minus x into 9, 9 5s is 45. So minus is there, right? Minus. 4, 4 into x is minus. Oh, sorry, 4x plus 5 into 9 3s are 27. Minus, uh, minus 1 into x is minus x. So minus into minus plus x. Okay. Equal to. So one important thing we forgot to write this value equal to 230. So this one will be equal to 230. This one also will be equal to 230. Okay. So that is what we have to write. You write straight. Okay. Mine went up. Okay. No problem. Next. 3 into 5 minus 12 is 20. So it is minus 7. So, minus 7 into 3 is minus 21. Minus x is there right now. So, when you simplify this full term, your answer will be plus 45x. How you will think? Minus x is there now. Minus x into minus 45 is plus 45x. Plus, again minus into minus is plus, right? That's why plus x into 4x is 4x square. Clear? Then, here this one if you simplify, 5 into 27 is, it is 135, yes. Plus 5 into x is 5x. Equal to 230. Clear? Next, here, what is the biggest term? 4x square. Then, here 4x, 45x plus 5x is, sorry, it is 50x plus 50x. Then, um, here I use uh, plus 40, sorry, plus 135 minus 21. If you solve, it is going to be minus 116. Because 230 also I sent to LHS and fully I solved. Okay. 
that's why it is minus 116 for us it would be something else here it will be 0 ok because when you send this plus 230 to LHS it will become minus 230 so in the left hand side it will be minus 230 minus plus 135 minus 21 so when you simplify all this you will get minus 116 clear this one no need to mention ok no need to mention fine now what we are supposed to do factorization ok first how to factorize this before that I have one step common value in this 3 is 2 yeah now 2 2's are 4 x square plus this one 50 means 25 right minus 116 um, when you divide it by 2 58 equal to 0 clear fine up to here now what we are supposed to do we will send this 2 to LHS sorry RHS so 0 by 2 means 0 only so what will happen this term will go huh? now now we can factorize it clear so how to factorize it we have to or else what we will do is no, we don't have better option than factorizing. So, let's factorize it somehow. So, it will be 2x square minus 4x uh, plus 29x minus 58. So, I have already taught how to do factorization in polynomials itself. I think you have remembered it. If you, have, if you have forgotten, you can see that video is also no problem. Now, this will be the step. Hmm. Then what we can do? Here we can take common. X we can take. 2 we can take. So we will take 2x as common. Then here 1x will be left out. Minus 2. Here. Now for that R H is part. We have to do something. Here X is there sorry. So what we will do is. We will take common 29. Because 29 2 size is 58. So it will be x minus 2 equal to 0. So, two factors are 2x plus 29 into x minus 2 equal to 0. Now, x minus 2 equal to 0 if we solve, answer is x is equal to 2. If we solve this big part, answer will be minus 29 by 2. How I am getting this answer, you will get confused. One second. Here I will show it. See, these two separately we will equate it to 0. Now this one, 2x plus 29 equal to 0. So if I send that plus 29 to RHS, it is minus 29 and x is equal to, 2x is equal to minus 29. So x is equal to this 29, minus 29 by 2. That's why. So this one you will take as option A. Now we will see fourth one. So this is fourth question and this is homework because it's very simple. So this is what is aim for analytical geometry. So with this we completed our aim. Do like, share, and subscribe to Wish Bloom's. Bye. Thanks for watching.